Greetings car fanatics, so I just moved to Arizona and the sun here is brutal. I need tint on both of my Porsche so I can survive. Today I'll be doing a review of the Suntec CXP ceramic tint as well as giving you an overview of the different tint options. Alright, so we're here at the tint shop. Let's take a look at the different options. We pretty much have two types to choose from, ceramic films and traditional films. The ceramics are the most expensive and provide the highest total solar energy rejection. The most expensive is the Prestige Spectra Photosync. Next we have the 3M Crystalline, followed by the Suntec CXP. The last two films here are on the high end, but they are just the traditional films. We have the 3M Color Stable and the Suntec High Performance Film. Let's take a look at the specs of the Prestige Photosync. To determine which film will keep your car the coolest, total solar energy rejection is a spec to pay attention to. The sun consists of different types of energy, such as visible light, infrared, UV, etc. The photosync will block anywhere between 75 to 58% of the total solar energy, depending on which darkness film you go with. You'll notice with the ceramic films that there isn't a huge difference in total solar energy rejection as you go from the darker tints to the lighter tints. With advances in tint technology, tints no longer solely rely on the darkness of the film to reject solar energy. To install this film on all the windows, except the windshield, it would be around $900 because the film is very expensive. Next we have the 3M Crystalline Film. This blocks anywhere from 62% to 34% of the total solar energy depending on which film you go with. The 3M Film is a little cheaper than the Photosync, but it's still about $750 to install on my 911. Now we're going on to the Suntec CXP Film, which is what I'll be installing on my Porsches. The film blocks anywhere from 59% to 44% of the total solar energy. I'll be going with a 35% film, which blocks 53% of the total solar energy. While the Crystalline 40% and Photosync 35% respectively have 60% and 79% total solar energy rejections, the Suntec CXP film is just a fraction of the price at $400. I think all around it's a great bang for your buck. Next, looking at the 3M Color Stable Tint, we see it can block up to 50% of the total solar energy. However, it comes at the expense of visible light. You'd have to go with the 5% Limo Tint, which in my opinion is too dark to use on the driver's side windows and doesn't look classy. But this is still a perfectly fine tint to use. It won't change colors over time, and the 35% film still blocks about 40% of the total solar energy, which is pretty good. Lastly, let's take a look at the Suntec High Performance Film. It has a similar total solar energy rejection as the 3M Color Stable. The 35% film is rated to a 49% total solar energy rejection, which is better than the 3M Color Stable. For either the 3M Color Stable or Suntec High Performance Films, we're looking at about $250 to have them installed on the car. Okay, after a full day, my tint is done on my 911 and the Cayenne. So far, I really like the 35% film. It's not too dark and matches the wheels nicely. On the Cayenne, the 35% tint looks really good. The front windows seem to match the back pretty well, even though the back has privacy glass from the factory. All right, Carfanatic, so I'm in the Cayenne with the tint. I don't actually have the AC running. Looking at my gauge, it's showing it's 102 degrees outside and it is around 2 p.m. so the sun is almost directly on top. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, sun you know, coming through the front windshield, but surprisingly the car isn't too warm. It's not heating up nearly as quickly, and I feel um, I don't really feel like the heat is burning me through these side windows. Um, so I think the tint is doing a good job blocking a lot of the solar en energy coming in. And now I'm just going to turn back on the AC, and I noticed with the AC on that the car um, just immediately gets a little bit cooler quicker. And while driving the car, you know, the AC doesn't seem like it has to work as hard. Before I got the tint, I had to, um, you know, have the AC vents pointing on my arms and stuff, and basically on any part of my body that was um, exposed to direct sunlight. But now with the tint, it feels so much better. Um, I was debating on getting the front windshield tinted. I really don't think it's necessary now that I have the uh, full-on uh, just tint around all of the windows. Um, now, it does get a little bit hot, you know, coming, uh, putting my hand up to the windshield and stuff like that, 
but for the most part that heat is just bouncing off the dashboard and not directly on me so it's not a huge deal and wasn't um, you know worth the extra 250 bucks let's go ahead and just take a look at the darkness so in the back um, you know plenty of light is going through despite um, adding 35% tint on top of the factors factory smoked privacy glass the um, factory privacy glass metered at right around 33% so with the 33% factory glass and then the additional 35% tint on the back you're looking at about 10% of the visible light coming through and as you can see um, with the strong Sun here in Arizona um, there is still plenty of visibility during the daytime I did drive the car yesterday at night it's a little on the dark side but super manageable as long as you know the cars have their headlights on you won't really have any issues and the side windows are actually really good too so this is just straight up about 33% and it feels good um, it looks good I think from the outside it looks pretty uniform now let's go ahead and take a look at one gripe I had with the installation all right so let's see if the the Sun captures this but if we take a look at the door panel you can actually see that there's some water damage right here and that's basically from the solution that they spray and they squeegee down um, so this side it's not terrible let me go show you the worst side all right so this is the worst door panel that was affected and take a look at that definitely have very severe water damage that is so bad so looking at the uh, tint and just reviewing the tint on the performance the Suntec CXP is a really good balance it's not too expensive but it also does a really good job at rejecting the solar energy um, I paid $400 to have all of these windows tinted uh, definitely more than your standard color stable 3m film or something like that but you do get a lot more um, protection from the Suns uh, energy now in terms of the damage on the car definitely not happy about that Porsche leather is very expensive to fix fortunately the tin shop I went to um, is being very reasonable about it I talked to the owner and he um, is going to pay for all of the the damage so we're gonna take the car to an upholstery shop and they're basically going to rip off the top portions of the door covers and replace them with genuine Porsche leather um, so I'll do another video and show you guys what that looks like after it's done um, But it's good that you know the owner is standing by the work um, Accepted responsibility for what happened and is going to fix it Overall these kinds of accidents will happen if you're you know in a high volume business like a tent shop um, But you know, it's kind of how you respond to it when there is an issue with uh, you know one of your customers that I think um, indicates you know what kind of shop you have so i'm really fortunate that the uh, tin shop is going to get that fix for me well thanks for watching car fanatics if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel leave any questions or comments below